Well, hello there YouTube. We just got another uh, item in, shall we say. This is an extreme 800, 800 watt electric scooter. Um, this thing's pretty cool. Um, you know, it'd be pretty, uh, it was basically uh, in the trash, essentially. So it's a trash picked 800 watt electric scooter. This uh, does have a broken throttle. Well, that's a problem, I've got one of those. It's got this pad on here that says Extreme 800. I'm not 100% sure what brand it is. I mean, these are very generic. There's like lots of different brands that stick, well, yeah, I think they just buy them from China and stick their own name on them. There was one, I think it's Evo, that are slightly better. So they might all be a knockoff of Evo, I don't know. Um, there's no seat post for this one. It has got four good lead acid batteries in here, but we don't do lead acid on this channel. We go in lithium. These things weigh about the same as regular e-bikes. So uh, yeah, they're, they're going. Um, there's the motor in here. It is a 800 watt, 48 volt motor, brushed of course, um, which is a bit lame. So we might have to change that to brushless. I've already got one of these in the works for a brushless motor, but I haven't got a set of forks for it yet. So I might just drop the brushless motor in here instead. We have dual suspension. I use the term suspension very loosely. These are like the crappiest chocks you've ever come across. These front ones don't actually move, but when they did, they only moved about 20 mil. So, yeah, not the best. These things really are not the best quality these days. Um, so, yeah, the date code seems to be 2011 on these batteries. They do still hold, uh, seem to hold charge, but as I say, we won't be using those. So it comes out in this little bag. A scrap man can have that. Um, here we have the controller. This will work as far as I'm aware as soon as I get a uh, throttle on here. But yeah, apart from that, we're all good. Metal frame. Obviously, it's heavy as hell. This thing is stupidly heavy. We have uh, a real rusty chain on here as well. Mm -mm -mm, look at that. Mechanical disc brakes, which are the cheapest looking thing I've ever seen. They are jammed on at the moment as well. The well, front one is, and we have a flat front tyre at the front. Now, I don't know if I'll get this going today or if I'll do the Xami two wheel drive project, whatever you say, that's not correct. But yeah, the M365 Pro is two wheel drive project. Um, so yeah, 800 watts. It's got the charger broken off in here. We have an interesting safety warning. Hmm, won't be needing that. Driver's warning was. We must abode lo local traffic rules. Yeah, who cares? Anyway, so yeah, it's got suspension. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> oh dear, I can't believe it's got two Walmart bicycle shocks on the back. Literally, it's got Velcro that holds its battery thing shut. Look, I'm sure that sounds good on camera. It's folding as well, so you can take it on the train, and it weighs about 30 kilograms. So I'm sure that'll be nice and easy. We have a key. Look, we actually have the key. And yeah, the ignition barrel turns when you turn it. So, yeah, I think these do about 20 mile an hour standard. I might have to um, drop that brushless motor in here. I've had it in the other one, and um, it had the standard forks on it, but they were all they were really dangerous. They're all bent and messed up, and the thing literally tried to wheel, tried to throw me off. It well, it did throw me off. I was six like six feet in the air. Well, it, it just wheelie. It barely even gave it any throttle. It was mental. So I might have to do the same with this. Drop that motor in here and see how it goes. Right, that concludes this video. Uh, I might jump cut to the uh, video of it running. We'll see. See you later. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.